It's personal to me. Uh -huh. When Dwayne and I were out on the Atlantic Ocean fishing for mm -hmm. always on the way back, the sun was setting, and it looked like there were diamonds on the water. Mm -hmm. And I would be up in the bridge with him, and he would say the same thing to me every time. Baby fish are diamonds on the water. I'm on, I'm on my way to go check out this really cool spot. Let's go check out some discus. What is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly? Illmatic Fish Keeping Funky Dollars. You watch your Apple Funk Aquatics with me, Apple Funk. And you're in for a real, real treat. I found a hidden gem out here in Florida. Um, we got Dwayne and Liz, and here they are right here. We are sitting in their fish room. They've allowed me. How you doing? How you doing? Good. They've allowed me to come into their <laughs> store. 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 If you guys don't know, um, how could how could they, they get in contact with you, first of all, before we go any further? We have a phone number to give them, an email address, a Facebook page, and a website. Their phone number. Phone number, which all this information is going to be provided in the description below. So please check them out, especially if you, would this will be considered um, South Florida, Central Florida? Southwest Florida. Southwest Florida. So if you're in the area and you're a fish keeper, you got to make your way down here, seriously. How long has this place been up and running? About a year and a half. Year and a half. And it's 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 come a long way. Uh -huh. We this all was a car garage. Now I would assume, honestly, looking at this place, this is older than a year and a half. I, I would assume this place would have been here longer than a year. The frame has been here for no. since seventies. So how long have you been keeping fish? Because this is not year and a half, brand new fish keeper stuff. This is the other fish room. Uh huh was the first venture. Okay. And we started with that room and we just decided why not. So how long on the old one? The old fish room? Five years. Five years? I think so. Yeah. Five years. Now I don't know if you can hear it, but there is definitely a northern twang. You're not from Florida, are y'all? No, yeah. we're not. <laughs> we're She's, from New England. She said five years. Five years. I can't say it. She said it. Um you were into fish before this, right? It's a charter boat captain. Charter boat captain. And our specialty was uh -huh. giant bluefin tuna. Giant. So, so why are you not into saltwater fish? Too much work. Too much work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've been sitting here for what about an hour, hour and a half. Yep. And just listening to him talk, I feel like uh, I could just keep doing this all day. I wish I could do this on a video all day, but I, I want you guys to get to know um, um, Dwayne and Liz and the fish that they have available. You ship. You ship. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So you don't have to be just in Florida. Um, what kind of fish are you currently right now specializing in? Discus. 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 We, we, we want to be special. We want to have the special mm -hmm. discus here. Uh, people that can't obtain them anywhere. They're no. not in aquariums. Mm -hmm. Either you go to a local breeder or you're just not going to find them. Yeah, they are difficult to find. And, um, Quality I'm, is difficult to find. That's 100% that's, that's true. Quality is difficult to find. What's your... If you had to say one thing about keeping discus, what, what would what would it what would it be? It's simple. It's simple. no different than an angel. <laughs> no way, that's not real. That is not what they tell us. Fish. Not a no, difference. that can't be true. No, no, no. Discus no. people always say that it's the hardest thing and not everybody can do it. You have to be special, but you're telling me something different. Simple. Simple. Just do it simple. <laughs> simple. And if yeah. you want to know what simple is, come on, Father. Yeah. So that's that that was the thing that I got out of the conversation here, is he's a big advocate that this type of thing, discus, is for everybody if you want it. You don't have to be some PhD. You don't have to have 20 years in a hobby. Um, pretty much just the fundamentals um, and like me, water change, water change, and and, and, and you can have discus too. Um, for years, we've been taught that discus are only for the most elite of fish keepers, but no, yep, no, no, it's no, yep. not at all. all. At all. I love that. If, if, if I love that. Just a common tank, mm -hmm. common fish. So, if you want to breed, now we have to go yeah. into a new row. That's a whole nother story. But let's talk about discus like being in packs. Yep. What size? What, 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 what amount? I would say comfortably between four and six. Four but and six. That all depends on the size of your tank. So, for every discus yeah. needs 10 gallons of water. So we're talking about four to six and a 55? Comfortably. Comfortably. But again, it all depends on size. If you have baby, uh -huh. that changes. Uh -huh. When you have bigger, now you are pregnant. So what about water water temperature? What are we looking at at water temperature? 84, 86 degrees. Okay, so they like it up there. Warm. Feeding? 
Twice a day. Twice a day. What type of food? My go-to food? California black horse. California black horse. Now, it's common knowledge that if you carry disc, if you keep discus, you have to do 80% water changes every day, right? No. <laughs> no. So that's what wrong. I was taught. That's what I was so taught. Wrong. All right. Well, yeah. what's, what's the deal? What's the deal? 20%. 20%? How often? Every day. 20% every day to keep your water nice and pristine. Not, not 80%, right? No. All right. I'm just saying, no. according to you discus will keepers, kill fish. <laughs> according to discus keepers, if there is a speck of hair in the water, your discus is going to die. That's, that's how a lot of us who are not, who haven't kept discus, um, think about discus. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people are afraid to keep discus because there's been so much out there saying that, you know, it's, they're so fragile. Correct. Stay away from the internet. Stay away from the internet. They do not have it's, the right information. Yeah. Except for this channel. You stay away yes. from the internet except for this yes. channel. <laughs> you will be educated. You will be educated. Now let me let I guarantee it. Now let me stump him real fast. You ready? You want to watch this? He's going to try. What's the name of breed of that discus right there? A solid body. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> in, comes, in comes corporate. She knows. <laughs> she does the, the books, the paperwork. She knows all the names of all the breeds. Um, he and their personal names. Yeah, and, and she names them all individually. Um, how do you feel about all this? Normally it's the guy in the relationship that kind of forces and drags the, the missus along. Well, it's personal to me, Jason. Uh -huh. When Dwayne and I were out on the Atlantic Ocean fishing with Ventura, mm -hmm. always on the way back, the sun was setting, and it looked like there were diamonds on the water. Mm -hmm. And I would be up on the bridge with him, and he would say the same thing to me every time baby fish of diamonds on the water. We continue to reinvent ourselves, Jason. Mm -hmm. Life teaches you that that is a necessary thing. But I miss being out on the water with my husband and my diamonds on the water. Especially before she got her new glasses because she couldn't <laughs> see a 10 ton whale. <laughs> baby, I love it. baby, you see the whale? Oh, uh, what whale? I love it. We just had a real tender moment and he just, <laughs> ah, he just stomped on it. I love it. Um, and now you have room full of diamonds. That's beautiful. And you pretty much field all the calls, right? I know every time I call, you answer. Um, but the, the customer who just called, uh -huh. I knew what the answer was, but I acquiesced my position, Jason, because uh -huh. I don't want to relay something that I learned by osmosis uh -huh. that maybe I integrated into my brain incorrectly. Osmosis and integrated. So I defer to the fish myself. And defer. And he walks them through the process or says, bring that baby here. Mm -hmm. And we will help you. So let me let me see what I have available for a tank that I can quarantine him at and take a picture of him so I know what I'm looking at and we'll see what we can do. Obviously, this is a, a, a strong knit team, um, but I think uh, she knows more. As she said, she knew the answer. She just let him take the lead on that. But uh, uh I think she knows more than she's letting us know. She, she, she's playing coy. She's playing coy. So I got a couple of questions. So um, one question, my personal question that I have never really got answered, and I've asked this over and over again, is I have a fear. I, I found a place where I could buy discus about that big to $25. Mixed discus, but they will all have peppering. What is peppering, and does it go away? No, it doesn't. They get worse. Well, I'm glad it didn't buy it. Gets worse. If, for those of you who don't know what peppering is, it's, you'll see discus with black specks on them. Um, and that's probably why it was $25. Where, where does that come from? It's an inferior discus. Uh -huh. that's, that's one that's been culled mm -hmm. out of the batch and sold separately at that price because yeah. they're all into it to make money. Yeah. But it's still a sellable fish for the common person. Now, for those of you who don't know the word cold, the word cold basically is removing fish that do not meet a certain standard and most of the time because keeping a fish that you cannot sell is not really financially reasonable they become food so what he's saying is a lot of these deals on discus that you may find they're actually the rejects and instead of killing them now i know that sounds terrible but to be honest with you to ensure the bloodline stays strong you got to get rid of it. In the wild, these fish would get eaten, but we're not in the wild. So culling is a fact of life for breeders. And what he's saying is a lot of these deals, you're actually getting the inferior bloodlines 
Um, and to be honest with you, they should not be bred because all you do is dilute the bloodline if you just happen to get expensive ones and they mix. You're just, you're just messing up future fish. So be careful where you get your fish from. Me personally, I'm a big fan of getting locally bred fish um, because they usually acclimate better to your water because it's the same water. Um, not to mention you could always come and talk to the to the breeder, right? You know, or, or where you got them from and, and get all your questions answered. Um, another question I have, because he has um, Bulgarian green seal points. Um, that's what actually got me on this channel, on, on this webpage. I saw the Bulgarian green seal points. I called up, I spoke with Liz. And, and uh, tell me about these Bulgarian greens. They're, they're not very common. No, no. Uh, we bought these ones. Uh, they were probably a quarter size mm -hmm. and quite expensive. Yeah. Because of where they come from. Bulgaria. Okay. Bulgaria. Them, 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 they, they do some things out there with German, Bulgaria, and all that. Now, a lot of angel keepers, it's always angel versus discus. They kind of have a, a, a friendly feud. Yep. In my opinion, there's not a whole lot difference between the two. No, there isn't. So, I, I also um, was also under the impression that angelfish will outcompete discus for food. But I see angels and discus all over the place here. I also was under the impression that angels are way too aggressive um, and discus will hide and not come out. But that's not the case here. How, how would you introduce discus and angels? <coughs> she's all right, everybody, she's good. <laughs> how would you introduce discus and angels? No different than any other fish. Mm -hmm. We're going to acclimate them and bring them to temperature, same water, and we use a couple of different techniques to acclimate them. Mm -hmm. Having water drain into a bucket. Drip a method. Fish. Yep. Drip method. Yep. Okay. Uh, they need to have their fish rescued. That's all right. We go ahead and uh, I'm going to ask them if they want to be on the... I'll just take a little bit of water and put it in there. So he is now getting used to my pH, the, the temperature of the water, and you can already see him coming alive. He'll be fine. All right. So let me get this straight. These people bought this discus yep it was a bully yep they called you up you bring and you're gonna what i'm gonna take them back and give them, give them another fish they don't do that at pet stores man. no they don't <laughs> and they never will yeah yeah so that's the type of service you can expect um from here and like i said the description is going to be the, the all the information is going to be in the description below all right we're back Dwayne has some business to handle so uh customers come first right um, so listen, there's way too much to go over with this guy, um, these two actually, this, this uh, d duo um, for one video. So in the comments below, if you'd like for me to come back and showcase some of his um, angels, some of his um, veiled long fin electric blue rams, some of his, what else you got in here? Um, black rams. Black rams. If you'd like to see some more of that, because this is quite a drive, so I ain't going to do it for nothing. You got to go ahead and put um, leave a like and... Uh, Put a comment down here. In, in fish keeping in general, fish keeping in general, just any fish. It doesn't have to be discus. What would be the number one, um, number one, three top three tips keep for keeping fish? Keep it simple. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Stay off the internet, except for get, this channel. Absolutely, and get in touch with some local breeders that are yeah. special because they want their fish to be unique and. Those are the people that are going to give you the right answers. Mm -hmm. Listen, I appreciate you guys coming out and checking out this little diamond in the rough out here. I'm so glad I, I, I found it. I'm going to have to come back um, and do some more um, filming because... Uh, we have I, a name for it. We call it Inglewood's Best Kept Secret. Florida's Best Kept Secret. I, I've been to a couple places in Florida, um, and it's not just the fish that I feel make this... Um, the best kept secret is it's, it's these two guys right here to be honest with you they're very forthcoming with information and they generally genuinely genuinely I, I, I trip over my tongue <laughs> all the time they, whatever she said care you know and I could tell just from uh, me talking to them and the customer that just came in so thank you for that no problem really? it's, it's the truth it really, really is it means so, a lot check them out um, you won't be disappointed